have a token. All right, this is gonna be a cool token. Oh, it's in great shape. meeting up with a couple of uh, friends that I've detected with in the past and uh, on a video I think it was called uh, gridiron treasures I did a couple videos with him and some other ones but uh, we're out at an old old football field what we've hit before but I wanted to come back out here uh, and bring out the mana core and see what I can find with it uh, because uh, it seems to find stuff that uh, other people have missed and we found a lot of good treasures out here and just a couple weeks ago uh, Jason, uh, the guy that I'll be digging with, uh, he found a real nice class ring in a Washington Quarter. I found buffalo nickels out here, rings, uh, gold rings, all types of stuff in this football field. So it's been hunted out, but uh, like we always say, nothing is ever really hunted out. So uh, we're going to see what the mana core can do. We're going to hit some areas that we really haven't detected, uh, kind of different outside the football field as well. So let's get into our our uh, detecting stuff let's get it all put together let's get it on let's get out there and let's start swinging let's see what we can find okay let's do it all right we're going to be setting up our mana core this morning our sensitivity uh let's see we're going to set that at uh, let's put that down at 20 and then we're going to be volume 24 we're going to be an all-terrain general uh this morning a noise cancel uh, we go ahead and do that and recovery speed is going to be at the default five. We're going to leave our discrimination pattern at default, uh, ferris limit at default. Everything's going to be default. I am going to hunt in five tone. There's a bunch of different tones that you can uh, hunt here. Uh, you can do all region tones, two region, all tones, one tone, two tone. I like the five tone sound, so we're going to leave it there. Uh, we're going to go to the enhance. You can do just normal, but I like to go to the enhance. Uh, multiple frequency, general settings, we're going to leave the same. And so we are ready to go. All right, after about an hour, man, I've just been digging pull tabs and uh, pennies. And I got one weedy. And I got an 8182 here. I'm down in this uh, north end end zone. And I uncovered it, but I saw a glint of silver. But I don't know yet. Let's look at it together. All right, I think I saw it right there. There we go. Is that gonna be silver? Yes, I think it's gonna be silver. We got silver. That's gonna be just a. That's gonna be a rosy. We'll rub the rosy. Hey, I'll take silver. A rosy or no rosy. Can y'all read that uh, 1956? All right, I'm on the board with silver today. I'll take that. It's not old, but hey, it's better than nothing, isn't it? That's all I've been finding is nothing. So I'm gonna stay in this little end zone here and work around a little grid and see what we come up with. So let's get a picture and keep on rolling. Well, it's been about 15 minutes. I just dug my silver dime right over there, which was the first silver dime I ever dug with my mana core. And I came right over here, and this was very deep. I mean, it was very deep. Check this out. That was uh, at least almost a foot deep. I could barely get it. Just popped it out. 
it's going to be a mercury dime. Second one for the day. I thought it was ringing up like a quarter. And then when I got it out of the hole, it was ringing up like a dime. So, let's see what year that's going to be. 1932? That's going to be, or 42, 1942. There you go, man. Oh, that is. 19, is it 42? I think it is. I think it is. Well, you're wearing me out. <laughs> That's number two out of the end zone up here. So I just, just been gridding off in this section right here. So it's working. So let's get a picture. Let's keep on rolling. 89, 91, 97. About eight inches deep. So let's live dig this and let's see if what it's gonna be here. Maybe it's gonna be a silver here. Hopefully it will be. Sorry about that, my camera was flipped upside down. All right, come on, silver number three. I'm still in the same area as I was before. And let's see what we got. Let's see. All right. Gonna be right there. Nope. It's going to be a memorial penny. All right, Jason's calling me over. He's got a 28 on the Equinox and an 85 on the Mana Core. So we're going to live dig this one. Let's see what it's going to be. Hope it ain't a bazinga. Well, it'll be live if it is. <laughs> that sounds silver, though. It I mean, on a 28 on the Equinox and mine's an 85, 84, 85 on that Mana Core. It could be even a quarter, just to be maybe a little edge. All right, where's it at? Still in the hole? Still in the hole. Let me change a little bit. Go ahead. I think it's still deeper. No, here we go. Oh, there it is. Oh. It is going to be silver. It is going to be silver. Silver yeah. rosy. I'll be dipped. Ah, you huh. called it, didn't you? Well, I was afraid to. Silver Rosie, 1957. Hey, we'll take that. Yeah, I can finally get on the board. Y on the board, man. Y'all whipping me. There you go. Congratulations. You yeah, called yeah. it. 28 on the on the Equinox and an 82, yeah, yeah. I mean, 84, 85 there on the uh, Mana Core. There you have it. You're on the board. I'm on the board. Your dad's on the board. So yep. let's keep swinging and see if we can get some big silver now. That'd be nice. This could be silver. Jumping up in the 70s that way. Uh, it's low 70s, high, low 80s, high 70s. Uh, pretty deep. Let's live dig it just in case. This is going to be silver. It's got that silver tone. I try to dig them live if I can for you guys, but there's so much that just comes up pennies and trash. And so live digs are always kind of a jinx. So I don't ever like to do them that way. Like this one's gonna be probably, come on silver. Oh. I don't think it's going to be silver. It's just going to be a clad. It's a dime. But it's just going to be a clad rosy. All right. That's what we get for live digging. <laughs> oh, every once in a while, your live dig comes in good. So let's keep going. Getting a good signal here. 97, 94. And you can see it's right on the conductive line. Right here in the middle. Check that out. 
Now is it going to be silver? Is it going to be clad? That's the thing. So let's live dig it and let's see together. Hopefully, it's pretty deep, but we'll see. I need a silver quarter. That'll make my day today. I'll get a silver quarter. All right. Nope, this is going to be a clad quarter right there. You can see it. It's going to be, let's see how deep that is. Turn this off first. That's going to be, oh, where's my inches at on this thing? One, two, three inches. Three inches. Man, got to get a silver in a minute. All right, let's keep going. Maybe we'll get that silver. Roy's calling out Rosie, so let's go check it out. Oh, yeah. Right up here against the fence, isn't it? Oh. Well, let's rub that Rosie, see what it is. Let's see if we can get it in here. That's a 19. Maybe they can see it better than I can. 1949? Uh, I think it's something like that. 1940 something. There you go. Okay. Good. Congratulations, there, Roy. Sure. Right up against the fence. Right against the fence. That's what that thing's good for. Yeah. <laughs> there you go on the board now with the silver. There's got to be more up here. Let's keep looking. Well, Jason and his dad, Roy, went on to the house. I'm going to stick around and kind of focus on areas like outside the fence out here and uh, behind the stadium um, behind the bathrooms and just kind of places where I think no one else would really hunt and I just got a good 84 85 signal right here and my theory is paying off check this out there it is about four inches deep looks like it's gonna be a mercury mercury dime yep 19 was it gonna be 40 one that one came out pretty clean 1941 there's still silver at this old school this old football field we just got to keep digging them and listen real this was real faint and uh, they don't sound uh, real loud they're real faint so let's get a picture and keep on rolling here's a good if you can see it 94 92 96 95. Showing about eight inches deep. All right, let's hope that's gonna be my silver. My silver quarter. Probably someone's trash. Looks like there was a hole there. This field gets honey quite a bit. Let's see what this is gonna be. All right, still down in the hole. That's a good sign. It's got the depth. But nope, it's not going to be a quarter. It's just going to be a clad down. Oh, man. All right, let's keep going for that quarter. Just taking a break. Been doing a lot of swinging, digging a lot of clad. And, uh... It's been a bust day. I got two, three silvers, and uh, Jason got one silver. Uh, Roy got one silver and a piece of a 14K gold chain. I've dug some other stuff. Uh, lots and lots of clad. Just trying to learn my mana core. Uh, trying to learn what the U.S. coins sound like. I'm so used to the Equinox. And uh, I was hoping that the mana core numbers would sync up kind of with the AT Pro numbers, which I'm familiar with from all my water hunting. But they're, they're different too, especially the mid and the lower numbers. The higher numbers are pretty close, but it's a whole new ball game. This is my third set of numbers I've got to learn. I don't know one thing about Mind Lab I don't understand is why they go from, uh, uh, you know, the CTX is, you know, is 1 through 40, and then, the, I mean, the uh, Mana Core is 1, I mean, excuse me, the Nox is 1 through 40, the Mana Core is 1 through 99, the CTX was two numbers, the Ferris and the Conductive, 12 all the way up to to uh, 40 something and so 
everything you're doing is a different number. I just wish people would just keep the same numbers on these things. And so you have to learn them all. But anyway, I'm rested up. I'm ready to get out here and swing and see if I can't find. I'm going to hunt about another hour. And if I don't find anything, I'm going to wrap it up. And I'll show you there at the tailgate what I found. But I'm hoping I'm gonna get another silver or two out of here. It's gotta be a quarter. Gotta be a quarter. So let's go get it. Just getting an 84 to an 86. It was real, kind of. I don't know. Really wasn't a great tone, uh, but uh, popped it up and how hey, something gold came out. Check this out. There it is, right there. Maybe a, a token. Some type of token. All right, this is gonna be a cool token. Oh, it's in great shape. Jefferson, Texas. J.B. Whelan. It's going to be good for 10 cents. Oh, man, I kissed it. Oh, let's get the holy water out. And let's see what this is going to be. Good for 10 cents in merchandise. Now, I love these tokens. J.B. Whelan, Jefferson, Texas. We'll have to look that up. See if we can find any information, history on this. All right, just right out here beside the the stands. Ringing up an 84, 86. All right, let's get a picture and see if there's another one out here. Here's a little better shot of it all cleaned up. Man, that is the best shaped aluminum token I have ever dug. I don't know how old this is. I would think probably in the 30s. But it is definitely, I just wish I didn't kiss it. It's got some eating up spot right there. I may not have kissed it. It may have been hit before. Uh, but that looks like a fresh hit. I think I kissed it. Man, I love these old tokens. Hopefully there's going to be some history on J.B. Whelan. 10 cents in merchandise. So it's going to be a general store or something. Well, not far from where I got that other, uh, that Jefferson uh, token just a minute ago, maybe eight feet away, I was getting a 7980 thinking it's not going to be silver. I think it's just going to be a penny, so I didn't live dig it, but it's got a little silver. Check this out. I can see just a little silver edge right there. Looks like it's going to be a rosy. It's going to be a rosy. Let's rub the rosy. Rub it on my pants and let's see what date that's going to be. 1958, maybe? Yeah, 1958. I'll take it. A little hot spot right here. We'll keep digging in here and see what else we can get. 85, 86, 90, 91. It's on the conductive line. Six to eight inches deep. Could this be my silver quarter? Come on, it's right here. I don't think it's gonna be. It's probably trash, but let's be positive. Let's be positive, let's see. Come on, silver quarter. Ah, it's gonna be too shallow to be silver. Yep, it's gonna be clad. It was my quarter. But it's going to be a clad quarter. All right, let's keep swinging for it. A good tone here. Let's live dig it. Let's see what's going to be. It could be just clad, but it could be another silver dime. I'm going for silver. Nope, it's just gonna be clad. It's just gonna be clad. Oh well, can't always be silver, can it? I wish it was. Well, I finished up. My back is hurting, I'm wore out, I'm getting sunburned, and I'm tired. And uh, I thought I had a pretty good uh, day. I'm glad I, Jason invited me to come out. Him and his dad was gonna come back here he had the urge to hit it again after he found that um, real nice 1970 uh, college class ring in that silver quarter. 
he ended up getting a, uh, a silver rosy. His dad got a silver rosy and a piece of 14K gold chain. But that's all they got other than just a few Wheaties and other, just a bunch of clad. But uh, I had a pretty good day. I stuck around about another two hours after they left and uh, kept digging at sites, uh, other places where we normally don't hit and uh, made a good day at it. So I got it all laid out on the tailgate. Let me spin you around. Let me show you what I got. Here's all my trash. Y'all digging a lot of targets. And here comes the treasure. Here's the relics. I got an old buckle. Probably horse tack. It could be a belt buckle. It looks like horse tack. Got an old watch. And, um, not that old. 1987 Hong Kong. Uh, got a round brass knob. Probably came off of a drawer or, or, or a door or something like that. Got a York lock. And then a little shaving top cream type of thing. And then, man, do I dig the clad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars and twenty-five cents in quarters. It looks like I'm out water hunting with that so much clad. Then I got one, two dollars and uh, ninety cents in dimes. And uh, I'm still learning my my signals on my manacore, so I really wasn't digging low tones that much. Uh, but I only got one nickel. And I got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 dime, I mean pennies. And then I got uh, 5, 10 uh, wheat, Wheaties. I don't know the dates on them yet. I haven't cleaned them up. And uh, then I got two Rosies. You can see the dates on them there. Then I got two Mercuries. And then to me, the find of the day is this J.B. Wheeling Jefferson, Texas token. Good for 10 cents in merchandise. I'm going to get back home and research this and see if I can't uh, uh, find more information out about what this was. Was this a sawmill token, uh, the commissary? Uh, the, and the, this was the script. Uh, I've got a friend that lives in Jefferson. I'm not very far from Jefferson. And uh, he, he's on the historical society there, so he might know. But I love these tokens. I love these tokens. So I just want to know who J.B. Whelan is. So I think that's my find of the day. So all in all, pretty good day. There's all the trash. And there's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure, my friend, isn't what you can come out to an old football field and dig out of the yard. The greatest treasure is what's up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. Well, I'm out today uh, at a church in a vacant lot and uh, going to see what we can find here. I got along with me coming up here in the background is Mr. Diggin' Doc Holiday. He's out here with me today. We have this vacant lot here. Got that vacant lot behind me where it was an old house used to sit there. And then we have this church ground here that we're going to be hitting as well. So hopefully we're going to find something. Digging Doc Holiday is going to make prediction. Let's see what he says. So what are we going to find today, Digging Doc? Well, I woke up this morning and I said six silvers, minimum. Six silvers and you said something else? And somebody's going to find the ring. I can't, I can't think of who's going to find it yet, but it's going to be one of it. All right. You know, in the Bible, when someone prophesies and it doesn't come true, we stone them. Right. So, <laughs> so let's, let's not do that. So hopefully we're going to find something good and... Uh, when we do, we'll put the camera on it. So let's get to swinging. Well, Hunter is calling silver. Let's see what he's got. There's one out. 1951 Rose. It was a little, little trashy because I heard the iron in there with it. And once I put the can head screw out of there. You got it. Well, what year is it? 1951. 
51. So there's silver. We're right here beside the church. And I've got a target right over here. It's a 94, about eight inches deep. And so, but these have been digging a lot of clad out of here. And I'm still trying to learn my American numbers. I, I took this manacore to England. I learned the English coins. Now I'm having to learn the American coins. And so, let's uh, pop this one up. I've already started the hole. And it was a good tone, deep. Yeah, maybe not too deep. Yeah, gonna be another clad. In a minute, I'm gonna get a silver quarter, I know. We're digging a lot of these quarters. This is place is supposed to have been hunted. It's hunted by a friend of mine. And so we, we're gonna get a silver out of here yet, a silver quarter. So let's keep swinging and see what we get. Hey! 